Hello, welcome to this uh, audio setup guide for setting up your Windows audio and voice changer for any uh, desktop app application uh, on Windows. I, this might work on Linux and Mac, but I haven't been able to test it since I don't use either platform that frequently. But uh, just to get past all the uh, tutorial stuff, I'll just get, hop right into it. So basically, for the three things you're going to need to set up your PC audio, and uh, you know, voice changer on PC. What you're gonna need to do is get voice meter. And when I click on this, it'll just be basically a soft software application that uh, allows you to have audio run to your headphones like it normally would, just like your normal plug like plugging in your headphones and then sending out audio as virtual audio, as basically as your microphone that you use in programs. And voice meter, all you need to do. You just go to the website, you know, you just look up voice meter on Google. First thing you can get is this on the side, voice meter, you know, audio mixer. Just download any of, you know, these voice meter zip package for the exe file. And, you know, install the application, run it. I already have it on, so it says remove. But basically, you just press install it. It goes through like a normal installer, and then you just restart your PC. And then once you get that installed, we'll just open up voice meter. I'm going to open up the side, show voice meter. And it's gonna look kind of complicated. Oh, I just did a fail thing because I'm not using I'm not using voice meter to send my audio right now because I'm using it to record. So if I didn't have it on, I wouldn't be able to hear me. But basically, this looks complicated a little bit at first, but it's really easy. Basically, what you're hearing uh, on your on your end of the like headphones or speaker side is gonna be like A1 and A2. These are your actual hardware out. So mine is my it's called Xbox controller. Just my headset uses an Xbox adapter to connect. And anything you go through the A line is what you're hearing. So basically, this is the hardware input for my microphone. So I want to be able to monitor my mic, so I just have that enabled. Uh, this is if you want to have like another microphone input. This will we'll go into this a little bit later. And then this is your virtual input. So basically, what audio you're hearing, like YouTube, any anything your computer is hearing essentially. And these two over here are your sliders A. On the left side is what your headphones or hardware will be hearing, and B is what you'll be sending out to people. So basically, you know, enable what you want to hear. So just like, you know, I want to hear my mic monitoring. If you don't want to hear your mic, just turn off A. You know, this is another microphone essentially, or, you know, input. If you don't want to hear it, just unclick it. And if you want to hear your computer audio, you have to obviously enable A. This stuff here, up here is obviously like the equalizer. This just adjusts like effects and stuff like position. You don't really need to do that. Oh, and also, I used to manually do this, but if you just want to undo something, just double click. It sends it back. Same here. Double click sends it back to zero. Send my back to negative 15. So that's if you, if you just want to hear things normally. And and if you want to send audio out to people, like I said, send it through the B line. So you people want to hear my mic, you enable B. If you know. This is what we're going to be using a little bit later. Uh, this is a specific program that I'm going to be setting for this tutorial. And uh, like I said, I'll go back to this later. And then obviously, if you want people to hear your audio from your computer, enable it, and that's going to set it out. So you'll be able to hear your mic, and you'll be able to hear your virtual input, which is the computer audio. But there's a problem with that if you're talking to the people, and it's using your computer audio because then they'll be able to hear themselves and that's where this is going to become in handy the hardware input too so currently we're going to be using a virtual audio cable and all you really need to do to do this is uh, click the setup so it's going to kind of warn you mine doesn't warn me right now because I already installed it but it's going to be like oh you need to do an administrator just right click run as administrator and then just run it and it should be fine you got to restart your computer again so if you're doing this all in one go, just install virtual uh, voice meter and then this restart at once and you'll be good. And then that's gonna and that's going to do something a little bit. Uh, you're gonna need to set up something on your on your end. So basically, all you need to do is hit Windows or just go to your sound, just type in sound under Windows, and you'll see like this little uh, window come up. I've uh, I obviously I made a custom icon for this. It's just gonna be. It's you know, I'm gonna like, put up over here. It's basically just going to be this icon over here. It's going to show up on your sound tab. So I just made a custom one because I only use it for one program, which is the Xbox app. You can make like a Discord one if you want, if you use Discord more often. So basically, you're going to see voice meter input, the voice, you know, the audio cable, the virtual audio cable, and your actual headphones. If you have more stuff, more stuff will show up here.
I, you know, I just disable everything else. Like my mo my monitors technically are input, so I just disable them so they don't show up and clog up this area. And then you have your recording. So basically, you know, I use my Linus that shows up, but you, if you're only using these three things, you're going to see the virtual cable recording, voice meter output, and your mic. So basically, when you're normally, I'm not going to click on this because you know it's going to mess up the recording, but Basically, what you're going to want to use for playback and recording are the voice meter input and the voice meter output. So that's you're obviously going to be able to hear the, in you know the the input, you know, and the output of the program. So anything from A line is going to you're going to obviously want to hear, the, you know, the input, which is the A line. And when you want to set your microphone as the voice meter output, because obviously, what you're using for your output is what you you're going to want to hear. So everything basically runs through voice meter. And then like I said before, you know, you if you're using like a program like Discord or you know Skype or if people still use that um and you know Xbox app which me my friends use cuz well, most of my friends are on Xbox, so I just use the Xbox app. They're going to be able to hear themselves. So that's where you use the virtual audio cable. I just renamed it as Xbox app. It's still going to show up as VB audio cable. So that's where the second microphone per se is going to come in. You can use WBM, KS, or MME. I just use whatever really. doesn't really matter. And so you want that to be your second mic. So basically that program is going to be isolated from all of your other computer audio. And it's basically, you know, it's going to be its own audio cable or virtual audio cable. So if you want to be able to hear it, you just click A. So you're going to hear it in your A-line. And you're going to be able to hear them and your computer audio but if you want them to hear your computer audio, you can just enable B, and they won't show up because they're a separate audio line. But obviously, it's, the program's not going to know that by default, so let me bring over the Xbox app, which is I use. Obviously, different programs have their own different settings, but on the Xbox app, I'll just click on the settings cog, and then go, you know scroll down until you see party. So for the speaker, it's going to be like, alright, where do you want the audio for the Xbox party to go to? To set it to your virtual audio cable? Set your microphone, obviously, if it's not default already, this is your vo voice meter output. And when you start up a party, obviously mine's going to be different now since I'm recording. But it's going to be able to show up on the right over here, where your normal party stuff is. So, that's really about it for just sending your computer audio. Most people won't even do the, the voice changer stuff, but this is a little, this part's a little bit clunky after that. So, obviously you're going to want to set, you know, oh, you know, my controller. Obviously it's not working because I'm recording, not using this as default right now, but... That's, you know, it's going to work on your end. I'm recording, and I don't want to mess up the recording. So everything's really just set up there. You just set, you know, your application what for what where people are talking to you here. So that'd be your actual microphone on the left. And then your computer audio will just run through here, and you just adjust the volume level so if it's too loud or too quiet for you. So then, the voice changer. So this one I use the Voxel voice changer. There was some other program. It didn't really work since it only used specific audio ranges for like you know it only allowed like 24 kilohertz microphones or something or 20 kilohertz and it was really weird it didn't let you really use anything so i use the voxel voice changer and this one is just it's you look up what voxel voice changer on google hit download and it's by an nch software you just download that go through like the license term and it's all voxel all that stuff and since it's you know doing things with audio it's going to be like oh restart your computer and oh, let me do this. Click on that. Oh yeah, uh, pop up on the side saying it's to you know if you want to install it, you need to you know restart your computer. So obviously, I would when I got the program, I initially thought, oh, I can just click on it and it changes it, and it does. But since it's going through the audio stream, I think you can actually hear my mic right now since I clicked on it. There we go. Not applying anymore. Normally, if you don't have anything like voice meter, it just changes it. So if you don't even want to run your audio through your computer, you can just run the Voxel software, and you can just click on things and change your voice, and it works perfectly fine. But because the voice meter takes hold of the audio stream, unfortunately, the way I've gotten this to work is I have to shut down voice meter, click on something to change it, so echo, and then... And, you know, and then and as, as, long as, I, as long as I start up Voxel first... And then, then I run voice meter. I'm gonna open up voice meter by just typing voice meter into you know the search on uh, you know my program. Oh sweet, that's cool. <laughs> Usually it opens fine. Yeah, here we go. 
but you know, it needs to take hold of this, the audio stream first. So usually, what I recommend doing if you're if you know you're going to be using voice effects, open up Vox. So you know, close out a voice meter when the when the computer starts, or just not have it open when Windows starts. Open up Voxel first, and then open up voice meter. So then it takes hold of the audio stream, and then you know modifies it to do what it wants, and then open up voice meter. So then I can just use your microphone. The only problem that I found with this is that there's a delay. Even if you have no effect, there's still a delay when Voxel is open versus when it's not even open at all. There's no delay between you talking and your mic. Uh, and it's like a one second delay, so it's pretty significant and, you know, if you're doing something important. So, you know, you just use, you know, if you know you're going to use a voice changer, just open it up and then open up voice meter. And that's really about it. It's not... You know, it's, it sounds complicated, but once you get used to it, it's not that bad. And, oh, and one thing I noticed with voice meter, uh, f for some reason, uh, it's like a bug with the program. Out of nowhere, it, could, it couldn't happen it happened for me like a month after I get the program. It'll just, you'll start just making crackling noises for everyone, including your mic. Just go to menu, restart audio engine. Obviously, it's doing that thing, because obviously I have no hardware hooked up to it right now. But just start, and it just works back fine. And I have this enabled. Uh, this is super useful. Just hit system tray run, so it runs at startup, and then you have a little icon on your system tray to right click and show voice meter. Otherwise, it's going to be in the background, and it's kind of weird. But that's really about it. So, hey, now you know how to set up, to send your computer audio as uh, like on your mic so you can talk normally. Say if you want to play a YouTube video or you know a meme or something, just play it straight, straight through your mic. Want a voice change? Do it. Open up voice changer, then voice meter, have, modify your voice, whatever you want. And that's it. So uh, thanks for watching and have fun.